The 51st Annual Daytime Emmy Awards are happening tomorrow in Los Angeles, and all the stars of your favorite daytime programs will be there to celebrate one of its biggest nights. Joining me now are two current nominees and past Emmy Award winners from The Young and the Restless, Michelle Stafford, and from The Bold and the Beautiful, Scott Clifton. Good morning. Yay, good morning. Good morning. I hear you two want to adopt Curtis and you're just going to fight over that? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I want that kitty. <laughs> we'll, we'll have shared custody. Okay. She'll get every second and fourth yeah. week of the month. Now, Scott, you played Liam Spencer <laughs> on Bold and the Beautiful. You already a three-time Emmy Award winner and the first man to win in all three male performer categories. So how does it feel to be nominated for this role again? Um, yeah, this this one's really cool because uh, it's not just me on our show nominated. There's three of us in in the same category. It's my it's myself and Torsten K and John McCook, and so it's like a really special year. I don't know it's never happened before. I don't know whether it'll ever happen again. But we all get to kind of I don't know like team up. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's a special year. Oh, that's great. And Michelle, this October, you'll be celebrating your 30th season on The Young and the Restless as Phyllis Summers. I've been watching you forever. A role that has earned you two Emmy Awards in the past. What has the connection to your character been like and how does it feel to be nominated again? Uh, it, uh, the connection to my character feels good and it feels good to be nominated again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but, uh, it, everything is good. My goodness. I mean, how, I'm a working actor. Yes. Uh, yes. How can that be bad, right? No, that's absolutely right. What kind of advice would you, uh, either of you, have offered to first time nominees at this year's Emmys? I'm sure. I mean, it's kind of old hat for you guys, but for I'm sure there's a lot of people that are just kind of freaking out right now. Well, yeah. Scott? Yeah, don't. <laughs> don't listen to anything anyone tells you. That, that's. <laughs> oh, don't. That's very true. Don't yeah. listen to anything good or bad. <laughs> yeah. And like, oh, oh, we think it's your year or, oh, they think it's, you know, Jane's year or whatever, you know, or it, it just, it just go in uh, and join the party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those same people that tell you they know you're going to win for reasons X, oh. Y, and Z will not make eye contact with you after the ceremony if you don't win <laughs> and you feel like you've like let them down. So just 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 plug your ears. All right. Good advice. What are you both looking forward to most at tomorrow's show? I'm, just I'm always, friends. yeah, looking for, uh, you know, talking to friends, right, Scott? You know, yeah. you get to see yeah. people and you're all dressed, you know, it, it's a party. Yeah. <laughs> Comparing clothing, you know. <laughs> well, Michelle and Scott, good luck to you both. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Oh, it was our me. pleasure. Thanks so much. And you can watch thank the you. 51st Annual Daytime Emmy Awards. It's this Friday at 8 o'clock on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.